Hi, everyone, and welcome to Pro Tools Answers, where three Pro Tools people discuss, <laughs> demonstrate, and elaborate on your Pro Tools questions put to the community in Avid's official Facebook support forum. You know what, Anders, I have to say, I've always been a little oogie about calling myself or even in, <laughs> implying that I'm a, an expert at anything. <laughs> um, I, it's well, something well, I've you, always thought people can call me and I can take that as a compliment, but if I call it myself, it's a little bit weird. So I'm, Yeah, I, so, so coming from my mouth, you are a true expert well, at this, but I understand thank you. <laughs> what, I, what you're I, saying. I, do, I, I appreciate I don't agree with you, but I appreciate the compliment. But uh, so anyways, it's it's not... <laughs> That that aside, it's not even three people today. It's only I, two. I, I, um, I, I so think that what Davis me. is yeah. also referring to is is actually we're we're all certified expert level, right? It it, it is, and that and five bucks can get you a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so we've we've got uh, Pro Tools expert three people um except for today it's not even three people it's just me mm. and anders uh so please welcome anders Motz from tone craft work hello hello how are you doing and i am of course uh andy hagerman i am avid's audio curriculum architect uh based over here in tokyo japan which is very very cold very cold today um and we don't have dave phillips unfortunately he's he's not able to make it this time but he will be able to make it for next show which is episode number 100 100 unbelievable and they yeah. said it never last 100 it's been a <laughs> it's been an absolute joy to to get together with you and dave and and to make it hang so well, likewise so so we've broken the rule we we're not calling ourselves experts we, we we're, we're breaking another rule that it's not three people we're breaking yet a third rule we're not answering yep. any question this yep. is something so you and I have, have 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 talked about we want to talk and give a little bit of attention to features that are just jewels. They're absolutely fantastic, and if you don't understand what they do and how to use them, uh, by golly, you should. And and we have a, a list of 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 different features, and we have this in a in a supercomputer just just off screen here, and it's been sorting uh, the different things. And that supercomputer is very heated, and it's working on figuring out just exactly the right feature to have us talk about, and it's just about ready to spin. Ding. Just spit out this other one. Oh, Anders, we're going to talk about a thing called FMP. Yay! FMP, one of my, right? One, one of my favorite uh, features, uh, or not one of my favorite, but it's a feature that I use most of the time. Right, right. Um, yep. And, and let's, let's start by defining what the acronym means. What does FMP stand for? So it stands for follow main pan. And um, what we're talking about here is... Uh, basically, you can have the panner of a send follow, following the the main pan of the contributing track. And, and why would you why would you want to do that? Uh, uh, um, so a lot of the times you want to have the um, the reverb, for instance, uh, coming from the same location where the sound source is coming from right. so in in my case uh, in, right here i've got this acoustic guitar and it's got a weird panning pattern here and uh, and currently my my reverb is not panned to the same position but it would be logical to have the reverb originating from the same position where the guitar is coming from that's exactly right now by default um, mm -hmm. when you create a, a, a send, and so you click on that one, by default, yep. the the send would be panned, you know, dead center. center. You know, yeah. and, and so so basically, in, in this case, and, and this is what you would see kind of out of the box, is all the panning, you know, you might have meticulously positioned instruments or voices or whatever, or sonic mm -hmm. elements, but you have all, all, all your reverb is just essentially just a mono signal. Right, yep. and so you're you're losing a lot of that definition and and that that solidity, right? So mm. what we used to do, and I want to show how we used to do this, so you can see yep. how much pain <laughs> this is actually uh, solving. So again, what we're looking at in in track eight, in the top playlist, that blue line that has automation on it, that's the main pan, okay? Yep. And the bottom playlist which, Anders, you have to be careful, it's gonna automatically change a few different times, uh, is the sends pan, 
Okay. Now, mm -hmm. in the old days, we still wanted the the send pan to follow the main pan in many, many cases, not all, but many cases. And there was a way you could do it. And I'm going to show you the hard way to do this is I want you to select all of the automation in the main pan. So they've done that. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. So command C. Command C. Right. Okay. And we can't just paste it from main pan to send pan because they have different automation types. You can't paste from one automation type to another just just by clicking paste. Mm. There's a special yep. paste though. So if you go up into the edit menu and you go to paste special, paste to current automation type, boom. And now that would, would paste over there. And we used to do this all the time on, on dozens and dozens and dozens of tracks. Here's where life would get even more miserable. Client comes in and says, we need to change the panning on the, on the track. And you go and you change the panning on the track and now you're 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 not aligned again and so you would have to go through this whole process one more time right so let's go ahead and go back to the straight line there okay uh okay so i'm getting rid of this yep. okay great uh, uh just getting rid of all of the breakpoints in here so that we've got go. a so now we're, straight line and yep. yeah so, so now we're back to basically what we had um mm -hmm. could you do uh that that you know, copy and paste to, to current automation type and you'd have to redo it again to, to change again. Yeah, you can, right? That's that's definitely yep. a, a way you could do it. But, you know, follow main pan is just one of those workflow buttons that just makes what used to be dreadful and time consuming mm. really super easy to do. And so what we're gonna do is in the sends output window, which you can see right here, you're gonna see a button, and this is the only place where you can see the follow main pan button, is you're gonna see right next to pre, follow main pan, pop it. Now, it looks like some automation's been written, but it hasn't. So, for some reason that I'm not exactly 100% sure of, it just changed to main pan. So go back to that sends uh, no, panning. No, you can't. Here. So basically it, get rid, it gets oh, rid that's why it of do. the send pan uh, automation graph. As you can see, if, if I'm going to send A, uh, There's which no is graph the at all. Guitar reverb. There is no panner here, but it refers to the original main That's panner why it of does the track. That. There you go. Look yeah. at you. So That's there strange. is no automation lane for for send pans anymore. Uh, but now I'm curious because if that is the case, uh, let me go back again and turn FMP off. And then you're going to get back to the straight, straight line. Now, now exactly. if you go, now the and, pan comes back. I, that I know. Uh, and going back to the straight line. But right. what if I already have some other automation in here when yep. I'm turning on the FMP button? What happens then, Andy? It just bypasses it. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, you get this warning and it says, oh, right. enabling it FMP will delete no, you're any pre-existing send right. pan playlist because it's actually getting rid of that a playlist for for the send pan Smart guy. so by clicking okay it just discards the old automation lane which was the send a so and it now displays the main pan and turn it back off turn it back off because i just want to see what what happens yeah and then go and back to now the now i've pan. got my old play uh, uh, my list again but it's ah, gone and it's gone so that's that's deleting that's it. super useful because if you mm. have pan automation that you're in love with mm. um turning on fmp can be destructive yeah, it can be destructive, but let's go ahead um, and and go ahead and turn on FMP. Yeah, and there at this go. point, there is no such thing as a fan, uh, a sends pan automation. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, it, there is no doesn't uh, exist sends pan automation anymore. Yeah, and and do me a favor and open up the output window for the main track. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll I'll um, I'll open that up, and I'll still have the sends uh, window open. By the way, there's two different ways you can open up multiple windows like that. One is by mm -hmm. clicking the, the target button. The other is by holding the shift key. Yep. So both both are, are, are ways to do that. And you can see on the left-hand side, you can see the main pan. And if you, if you, by the way, go ahead and just move the main pan knob. And you'll see that the, the uh, sends pan follows that motion as you're making it manually. Same yep. thing will happen if it's reading automation. So go ahead and just start playback and you can see what's going to happen. 
Oh, by the way, before I get flamed by the internet for my panning movements with an acoustic guitar, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is for demonstration purposes. <laughs> uh, and you can see oh, that it's brilliant. Still, Grammy, come it's on, forget all, about it. <laughs> always duplicating the main pattern. Now, so, yep. so, so there's a lot of different ways you can do this, right? Um, mm -hmm. Now, it is it is destructive, as you as you notice. So, if you wanted to have something that follows the main pan for a little while and then do something different later on in the track, you're back mm -hmm. to copying automation and then pasting to new automation type. You still have that available yeah. to you, but yeah, sure. for me, especially for mm -hmm. post production, but even for most music production, I'll use follow main pan. And I'll have it enabled on sends better than 90% 90, 90 of my tracks. What about you, Anders? Yeah, yeah I, I think I'm, I'm similar. Probably around 95% of the time I'm in follow main pan. Uh, the, one, the, the, the couple of times that I exit FMP is for uh, music, musical, musical purposes where I have panning, panning like a guitar far right and I pan the reverb or the delay far left just to get more stereo width or as an effect in post, but it's really not that uh, often. Uh, uh, most of the time I'm in FMP. And and uh, and this, by the way, the, the headache of non-FMP workflows multiplies when you're dealing with, with surround. Because yeah. you know, we've got one uh, panning playlist with stereo, but we have six. Um, six, right? Um, wait. Yeah. Uh, like but, but uh, a bunch I, I, for for uh, I, for five point one. I I I guess I could demonstrate this uh, opening up a five one uh, uh, send, uh, which would get me the the surround or get the front surround rear for front to rear center percentage mm -hmm. channel and divergence yeah. right. So there's there's it, anyways yeah. there's a lot of, of of different playlists that you would have to copy and paste and mm. and it's just it it can be very time consuming. So. I would say for for surround sound, about hundred percent of the time. I'll be honest. Yeah. Uh, for yeah. music, better than ninety percent of the time. So for me, I would love to have Pro Tools automatically know to enable this, and there's a way you can do that in your preferences. So going setup preferences, and in the mixing tab, uh, you've got the second option here. You've got uh, send pans default to follow main pan, and when you turn that on all of your sends that you create will automatically have the FMP feature on. So if I add a new uh, send here, then I'll just call that the delay. And let's not make it 5.1, <laughs> let's do it a stereo, uh, a stereo uh, uh, send here. And uh, I'll just open up this and you can see that the FMP button is already enabled. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and the couple of times that I want to disable it, it's faster for me to just disable, and now I can write this separately. Yeah, although, you know, I, I had forgotten that it's destructive. I thought, it, for some reason, I had it in the back of my mind that it was bypassed, but it is destructive, and I think we need to know, you know, Pro Tools... Are you sure, Andy, because, because like five minutes before recording, you told me, do you know that it's destructive, that it will erase all the panning automation that's under nine? You told me that. Completely lying. Um, <laughs> never said. Um, but but I think it's important for us to, to know, as a community, you know, mm -hmm. DAWs, by and large, want to be non-destructive. Non-linear, non-destructive. That's the mantra of DAWs. But there are a few things that out there that will be destructive, and we just need to be aware of those exceptional cases. Um, yeah. You know, deleting tracks, for example, is the, is the one thing. Deleting tracks, you know, your undo history will mm -hmm. just get blown out. A couple other things will do the same thing. And here here again with Follow Me Pan, I, there is a I, way that you can destroy something that you may not want to, and you just need to be aware of that. So that's fantastic, Andrew. So we, so we can use FMP to, to simplify what we do and probably improve our mix in the process. And yeah. it just it's one of those things that was added to take the tediousness out of or minimize the tediousness of audio production. Mm. Um, one of my favorite but features, I think one of yours. Uh, yeah, I have it on all the time or uh, a lot of the times. And it's by the way, it's not a feature that uh, that is new. It's been in Pro Tools for many, many years. Just, you know, though it was funny. Um, I was I was in a meeting many, many years ago with, with our sales guys. And 
all they wanted to talk about was the new features. And I was like, yeah, but there's all this other stuff. And, and they go, yeah, but it's not new. I'm like, but if you don't know it, it's new to you. <laughs> right? Yeah. So if you don't know F Final Main Pan, it doesn't matter what it was released. If you don't know it, guess what? It's new. Yeah. There you ah, go. Yep, yeah, you're right. So so follow Main Pan, um, and speaking for myself and for my good colleague, Anders. Thank you, Anders. Oh, thank you. Uh, by the way, you're speaking, we're talking all the time about FMP, follow Main Pan, and yeah. uh, you can do another follow that is really important, that, that is to follow our YouTube channel. Oh and how do you God. do that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Am I that bad at this? No, no, that was that was that was disturbingly easy for you. Please, please continue. Don't let me stop you. Yeah, so hit the bell icon uh, and and subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up as well. And uh, by the way, uh, did you know that Protoss Answers have a uh, inner circle? And in this inner circle, we've got a great community. We've got uh, our own Discord, monthly uh, masterclasses, which are a lot of fun and uh, uh, and uh, a lot of other benefits so check out protosanswers.com for all of the uh, all of the information on the protos answers inner circle that's right um, we also have a protos answers facebook group that has gotten quite yep. lively recently mm -hmm. we've got a facebook uh, a, a protos answers discord channel yeah and that's that's which been, is for inner circle members, yeah. Yeah, been, been quite fun. Um, yeah, but uh, no, that was that was a brilliant and and effortless transition into marketing Segway. speak. All right. <laughs> and speaking for Anders and me, Andy, this is Pro Tools Answers, and we're out. <laughs>